All right, hey, this is Greg Nowlin from Nowlin Studios, and today I am going to put together a little tutorial on how to create a highlight. And I'm going to compare using Huddle, which is the premier high school system. Most high schools have the ability to take videos of their games. It comes into this particular web-based system, and the players have the option to go back and make nice highlights. Now, what I'm going to highlight is being able to do this also in Final Cut Pro 10. For example, you may have a clip in um, that's something that your parents took on a really nice video camera or something that you were able to get a copy from the news. You can go back and do the same thing with Final Cut Pro 10 or any other um, nice high featured video editing system. But in Huddle what you do is you select a bunch of clips and I won't go into how to do that but once you've got your clips in the area that you can use for highlight you come into your profile create a new premium highlight and most of the high school football players know how to do this and you can give your highlight a title we're just gonna say test for today this happens to be the 76 highlights that my player has pre-selected. We'll just go grab the very first clip. I'm going to drop it down to here. And this is the play. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop it to identify our player. It happens to be right there. Click on done. So it's going to stop. He makes the tackle. We're going to actually end the clip in the clip if I can drag this a little bit a little early because they don't need to necessarily see all the kids walking back but that's going to be real quickly a custom highlight in huddle so if we go back to viewing the profile now we have this test we can click on it it shows the beginning stops it, highlights it, makes the tackle. And that is how you make a highlight in Huddle. All right, here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. And this clip here was taken from the sidelines um, from a parent's camera. And this was available in Huddle, but let's say that we liked this angle better. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrub through and see where we'd like to stop. Now right here is the player. Okay. So what Huddle does automatically for you is it pauses it, then it puts the thing in. So we're going to actually make a cut in the video and insert what they call a pause. So we have it parked right here. And to cut it, you can, you can actually use the blade tool or you can do a command B. We'll just go ahead and blade this. All right, so now we've got, we've got the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and push A to get my pointer back. Now, right up here, there is an option to push hold. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now, if we run back and play this, you'll see that it, that it stops and then it continues on and then there's the play that we want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it back to where we stopped it again now I need to have something to point out who the player is now right here to the right of the T this is what they call a generator now if you come down to elements there's shapes and one of the things we can do, is we're just going to pull this up and start it right at the, uh, the thing. All right. Now, so obviously the circle is not something that we're going to use um, in the manner that it's showing. So what we've got to do is we've actually got to, to turn on our inspector. So now we can do some things. So we're not going to use a circle in this particular situation. I like to use an arrow. So I'm going to use the arrow. And now we can play with the arrow. 
if we come down to this transform tool, it, it makes the, uh, the arrow here able to, to resize. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to resize this. And this little deal right here allows us to go like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. That is my guy. Okay. Now, a lot of options. Um, our team colors happen to be green and, and blue. So we'll make the outside potentially green. Um, and, and there's so many things that you can you can change about this, but that's probably fine. Um, we will call that done. And what I'm going to do, because we don't want the arrow to last that long, we only really need it to last for the period of the hold. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fade the arrow in and out. So if I click on the generator here and press Command T, that automatically puts the fade in and out. If you wanted to do that by um, by hand, what you do is you just grab a cross dissolve, you move it over to the clip. Let me expand this a little bit so you can kind of see what we've done. All right, so we're going to start at the beginning and we'll watch this. There's our pause, that's our player. All right, so that is where that particular highlight clip would finish. Before I move on, I want to show you just one more thing, another option to highlight instead of using the arrow. And before I move to that particular part, just as I zoomed in a little bit on the on the timeline, what you may want to do is choose to have your generator overlap just with the hold. That'll make sure that the arrow's not moving. Um, when it gets to, for example, if you can look at the when you play right here, you can see that when the arrow shows up, it's it's actually not in the right spot, and it moves for a little bit. But so anyway, you can solve that by just doing that. All right, so I'm going to click it into the generator, so that's highlighted as you see here, and I'm going to go up to the arrow. We're going to actually use the circle real quick. I'll show you how you can highlight with the circle. So let's go back and make that the active. So we're going to make the circle bigger. We'll run it around like this. We're obviously not going to use it like that, but we're going to unfill it. And we're going to make that basically fit our athlete. Now the nice thing is, is you can make the width bigger. And so let's try that. We're going to click back on here, do the command T to put the fade in, fade out. Let's see what that looks like. Same. So same type of thing. So you do definitely have some options. Um, so I think as far as a basic level of understanding with making the highlight in in both Huddle as well as here in Final Cut Pro 10, that, that gives you some ideas about how to accomplish that. And if you have any questions, you can uh, leave a comment below, and I'll go ahead and try to get back to you. And I hope that this gives you some good functionality between the two. And when I look back at this clip, it's actually a lot better clarity and quality than what we could have gotten Huddle. So it's really nice to be able to have this option to, to do your highlights and, and stuff like this as well. All right, well, this has been Greg Nowlin from Nowlin Studios. Hopefully this is helpful. And again, let us know if this has either been beneficial or you have any questions. All right, take care and have a fantastic time editing.